Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Metro. This is a series in which we will be looking at the various creatures, locations, factions, and beliefs from the world of Metro Exodus. This is a vast and expansive universe that has only been getting bigger thanks to the games and the literature that they were based on. It is a dark and grim world, but with some wonderful design, storytelling, and of course, monsters. These monsters are the mutated animals that prowl the post-nuclear world, and it seems fitting that I'll start the first episode with the most common mutant you can find, the Watchman. These strange and hound-like beings are featured prominently throughout all three games, making their biggest appearance in Last Light. They've gone through various changes in their design and nature as the world has been developed, from having four eyes to now only two, and the look of their overall structure becoming more bat-like. Some versions seemed more adapted to cold environments and others less so. If anything, it shows that the mutants are changing with their environments as they become more and more mutated over time. Not to even mention the impact of extreme weather conditions that I'm sure has played a role. They are said to be mutated from wild dogs and wolves. This is due to their instinctive nature to remain in a pack and their ability to howl loudly for help. In fact, you'll very rarely find one of these creatures wandering alone, as they are commonly seen in groups of 5 to 10. But with that said, there are instances where they have been seen in even larger numbers, somewhere upwards closer to about 50. This has earned them a reputation for being extremely dangerous and unpredictable in their numbers. As to why they form such large groups, it may very well be connected to their skill as hunters. The very name of Watchmen is largely given to them due to the way that they hunt their victims. They at first stalk their prey, observing them for any weaknesses, and waiting very patiently for a proper time to strike. This means that they are more than simply just primal creatures, since they know how to judge situations and when or when not to attack. In fact, there have been a few cases where they've shared shelter with humans and even teamed up with them in order to take down a common enemy. This by no means allies them together, but may Maybe it calls on an old instinct that dogs are man's best friend. Their normal hunting grounds are on the surface, but it is not completely uncommon to find the Watchmen scurrying in the tunnels of the Metro. Either they're lost or have been driven lower due to the lack of prey above, but most of the time the Watchmen keep to the cities and live inside the concrete buildings they call home. They do not, however, venture out into the open because of the flying demons and other more dangerous mutants. It is nice that they have an element of cunning rather than just being a big dumb beast that can't judge situations. Often in games there have been too many monsters that just charge at you unwittingly rather than actually hunting you and waiting for the right moment, which is something I love about the realism and depth to this world. The design and inspiration for the Watchmen share some similarities with legends and mythos from our own world, largely that of a Bargist, or more commonly known as a Hellhound. These beasts are often depicted as supernatural monsters with glowing red eyes, super strength, speed, and foul odours. They can be found guarding the gates to Hell, the world of the dead, while also wandering graveyards and burial grounds. I don't really think that there was really any real inspiration from our own mythology behind these creatures though, because they are simply a mutated version of something we already know. By definition, a mutant is an organism or a new genetic character arising or resulting from an instance of mutation, which is generally an alteration of the DNA sequence of the genome or the chromosome of an organism. When that is taken to the level of radiation and fallout from a nuclear weapon, things can be altered to a very extreme magnitude. However, it doesn't quite work the same way in reality from the way the DNA mutates and the amount of time it would take to see such a massive difference. But for the sake of argument, I don't think these monsters were at all based off anything but their real world counterparts. Those mainly are the dogs, rodents, and bats, which are characteristics that you can clearly see in their design. These are fearsome hunters, and you should take care when coming across them. Although alone they cannot do much, since a single bullet between the eyes will kill them. But if you do not stop them from calling for help, they can become very dangerous very quickly when in a pack. With protruding joints, formidable claws, and yellowing teeth, the Watchman is one of the most common creatures in the post-apocalyptic Russia. 
I hope you all enjoyed this video and this beginning to a new series that will run alongside The Witcher. I absolutely love this game so far and it's incredibly well crafted and very well put together. As always everyone, thank you very much for watching and please leave a like, share the video around and until the next one, you all go and have a very, very, very wonderful day. Tammy Toes. Thank you.